Hello, Taurus, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I'd like to do is I'm going to just give you your reading, and Taurus, this reading is not only going to uh, include your romantic situation, but it will include other areas as they are revealed here in this gypsy reading as already shuffled, okay? I'd like to first start off by just welcoming any new viewers and or subscribers to my channel. I certainly appreciate that. And to you veteran Tauruses, welcome back. Okay, so what I like to do first is to first examine a few of romance type angel type cards or romance oracle type cards just to give you some specifics into your romantic situation. And then we're just going to go on and dive on in into your gypsy reading to see what other added information we can get. Okay. So, Taurus, keep in mind, this reading will not resonate for all of you Tauruses out there, okay? And this reading is valid until the end of this year. And for those of you who, uh, for whom this reading is meant, I certainly would hope that, you know, this reading gives you added information or other things that you can consider as you move forward, okay? So, let's go on and start off with just looking at a few Oracle cards, all right? You have... The goddess oracle card. You have dedication here, um, ladies and gentlemen. But this card was pulled in reverse here. And when you look at the card upright, it shows you that your challenges will, in fact, reap rewards here. But since it's reverse here, it shows me that perhaps you guys are not putting in enough effort or dedication, if you will, into kind of restoring balance to a romantic situation I'm kind of getting for many of you. Okay? And a, a way to do it, ladies and gentlemen, is that you need to really kind of connect to your inner strength here with this, what this goddess is telling you. Connect to your inner strength. You need to remove doubts. I'm feeling a lot of doubts and jealousy that seems to be kind of going on around you guys. All right. And by relying on your inner strength, this goddess of enlightenment is saying that she is certainly is going to guide you. She's going to enlighten you so that you kind of get out of the darkness that you're in here. All right. And then just to look at some of these romance oracle cards here is that one of the mess, the message here is that, you know, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. That's further emphasizing the fact that I've just indicated that there seems to be some type of conflict or chaos that's going on here. Try to love and accept each other as you are, ladies and gentlemen, as well as your relationship. And by doing so, your relationship will, in fact, magically transform. All right? And try to make some effort to honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. Because for there, you're going to certainly find your true bliss here. Because I feel that many of you already, you know, have met your soulmate or you soon will hear. And, you know, for those of you who have been kind of hoping for things to kind of make a change here, this soulmate card is kind of telling you is that it, that person is already with you in spirit. Try to believe this and, and they will certainly manifest physically, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So let's go on and just get right on into your gypsy reading to see what other added information that we can get. All right. So let me go on and just explain this first so that you understand this here, all right? There are only 25 cards to these to this deck here. And depending on the orientation in which the picture falls, and there are four different variations here. It's not just two like the tarot, upright and reverse. It's four. So it's basically it's almost just as if you are assembling a puzzle. It's all, this is really a thinking type. These cards really require you to kind of give a lot of thought. All right. So let's start off with your first picture and see, you know, what it's saying to us here. All right. You have the bouquet. And the bouquet that shows appears in position four. And with regard to the positions here, usually position one is the strongest. And as it, you know, kind of moves down to four, it gets worse. The interpretation weakens here. So the bouquet, usually this card is all about, or picture, of course, is all about happiness, but it's weakened because it's in position four here. So I feel that 
you're going to find a way. I feel that a lot of you are kind of worrying about money. And I feel that you're going to certainly find a way to kind of obtain whatever it is that you need here. Because I'm feeling that some of you might even, in fact, be unemployed. Or you're just tired of doing what you're doing. And you just want to try to just take a risk and, you know, move on to uh, uh, make a career move I'm getting. Okay? Uh, I do see new opportunities that are going to come in that direction for you. So the key is to just notice those opportunities and don't let those slide by, okay? Your next symbol here, we have the horseshoe. So this symbol falls in the first position. So it's a very good card here. It's all about luck and success here. So it certainly lets you know, Taurus, that good fortune does await you. And it shows, too, that a fervent wish is going to come to pass here. It looks like you have many wishes, but it looks in one in particular. It's going to be, it's going to come to pass. I'm kind of getting, all right? And now, lo and behold, you have this more deceptive card here. You have the snake, all right? So, with the snake, this falls in position four. So, it shows some type of a loss, some type of betrayal, or, in fact, an attack. Okay, so I'm feeling that someone might lose his or her affections for you. I feel that perhaps some of you are, in fact, even questioning whether this person is faithful to you. I'm getting here. All right. And let's look at this next picture because we're going to get some more information regarding this situation here. We have Lily. And with the Lily, okay, that is is that card is all about you know faithfulness as well and it seems to tell me that you guys are jealous i'm seeing a lot of jealousy and a lot of doubts about a person's faithfulness you know and i'm feeling that because you have this card and the snake it it had it up you know kind of appeared in position two then i would say that your doubts your suspicious are founded but I don't feel that they are. I think they're unfounded. I'm thinking, I feel that there's a lot of jealousy, a lot of bickering, arguing over nothing here. Okay. And I feel that for some of you, it might be that because you may have a romantic partner who likes to mingle with those of the opposite sex or just like to be out a lot. They're very social and you're just, it's your insecurity. I'm kind of feeling that's causing you to feel this way. But let's look at your next card here because you have the handshake. All right, so with the handshake, ladies and gentlemen, that does, in fact, fall in position four here. So I feel that, again, just getting back to what this card has been saying, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. This handshake is telling you that if you don't stop criticizing your situation, it's going to threaten, it's, it's really threatened to end, I'm kind of getting. And maybe both of you are kind of, you know, accusing one another of things here. So it looks like it's kind of up to you and really time to have a heart-to-heart a -heart conversation that I'm kind of getting, you know, here. If you would like to kind of restore your situation, which looking at the cards, it certainly seems that the outlook looks very promising here because you have all of these promising cards, all right? So let's look at your next symbol that you have here, ladies and gentlemen. We have, let's see which one I want to do first. Okay, we have the Clover. All right. So again, that further emphasizes the fact that clover tend to represent luck. Unfortunately, this symbol falls in position four. So I'm kind of getting here is that I'm seeing you kind of disappointed by a loss or some some feeling seeing some type of grief. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that you're going to be. Um, it looks like you're going to be mourning. I'm getting over over a loss. I'm kind of getting here. OK. And when that occurs, ladies and gentlemen, understand that grief is no judgment zone. Try not to judge yourself or really allow others to judge you. Okay? And understand that regrets, ladies and gentlemen, tend to keep us stuck in the past and it really make us doubt our future. So try to accept what has happened whenever it does and then try to release yourself from any blame. And understand that certainly hope tends to keep suffering in check. And understand that there is certainly hope for healing and more love 
and grief here that I'm kind of getting. All right. Let's look at your next symbol here. We have the cat. All right. With the cat, that falls in position two. And, of course, you know cats are all manipulative. They tend to be very deceptive at times, two-faced. All right? So this picture is telling you to beware of a fake friend. You guys are kind of uh, calling. You, you seem to rush to call people your friends without really getting to know them that well. Okay? You have to stop doing that because everyone doesn't. They don't have your interests at heart here. And I feel that you have a friend around you who seem to be wearing a mask here. And I'm going to pull a few cards out at the end. I mean, uh, letters out at the end to kind of help you identify who this person. Okay, because it could potentially be a co-worker. It could be just a friend. Or it could be just a stranger that you meet because you are, you are inclined to be, fr you're very friendly, I'm kind of getting. All right? Let's look at your next symbol, ladies and gentlemen. And we have the anchor. All right. So, of course, you know, with the anchor, that's all about stability. And it falls in a very good position, the first position. So it does show that I'm kind of getting, despite the challenges I'm feeling, that you're going to be kind of going through. It looks like this is an existing lover I'm kind of getting that many of you are having these problems with. It doesn't seem to be more solely connected to an ex here. But it does show, too, that by the end of this time span, I'm feeling that you're going to have success and love because it looks like this person is true love to you, I'm kind of getting. And Taurus, this is a very good reading because out of this deck of 25 cards, look at all of these beautiful pictures that you guys receive. You do have a few warnings in here, but just take those, you know, keep those in mind as you kind of go through here. Now, the reading is identifying that this fake friend or person that is you can't trust here it looks like it is a lady here that i'm getting here all right because she falls in the third position so that's all about a friend who's wearing a mask in this case a woman here so watch what you say around here and again let me go on and just pull out a few letters here out of this bag of 200 letters to kind of help you identify who in the hell is this fake friend all right I'm going to select 20 letters, ladies and gentlemen, all right? And then I'm going to call them all back once I'm completing announcing them. Let's get started. Spirit, help identify this fake friend. Help identify who this fake person is around car. have a G, an I, an R, a V, an E, a U, an E, Another E, a Q, an I, okay. We have 10 more letters to select. We have an E, okay. an A, another A, and another A. <laughs> we have an L, an E, an E, an L, N. And we have the K, okay? Let me repeat them back to make sure that you have them. We have, let's see. They are six E's. It seems that E's might be very important to some of you. We have a G. There are three A's, okay? There are two I's, B, two L's, 
We have a Q and U R N K, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So now let's just move on and just look at your last card here and see what other, you know, just information that you need to be made aware of. Okay. We have the bear there. And actually that card formed a picture here. I just couldn't slide it up here. But basically it fell in position three. And so this card, of course, the bear is all about strength and power. But since it's in position three, this, this is really calling for you to be a bit more patient here. It seems that something you want to, to kind of happen, you know, as I said, you do have a lot of wishes that you'd like to be granted. But this, this one in particular is not going to happen at this time here. All right. Doesn't mean it's not, but it just says that it's something that you really want and it's just not time for it to happen all right and then you have fire there so it certainly shows that as i indicated to you that while you may be having problems you know in romance here um your great passion certainly will envelop your heart and i feel that either you're going to renew your your um reignite the passion in your existing situation or you're going to be meeting a new love interest here but though if there are actions for those of you who are in a relationship that you need to kind of stop going through all this accusing okay and pointing the fingers here because it's not getting you anywhere all right and then we have here we have just looking at the other symbol that we have there we have the money symbol here so it shows that many of you, you're going to be receiving some type of unexpected type money or, well, it may not come as unexpected. Some of you may even know that it's coming. I feel that it's either, it looks like it's a bonus or a tax refund or you may even get some type of commission or it could be some of you may even find, you know, old stocks and, and get money out of that here that I'm kind of getting. All right. And the last symbol here we have is mice. And that's just further emphasizing the fact that you need to be patient. Because I'm also picking up, and this is kind of funny here, but I'm feeling that some of you lost something valuable or you're going to lose something valuable here. And I feel that during this time span in question, you're going to find it. So don't worry, all right? I'm kind of getting that. I don't know what it is, but it could be jewelry or it could be something of value I'm getting. But you're going to find it. Something you lost or will lose, okay, what the reading is kind of, you know, telling, all right? So, guys, in closing today, let's just, before closing, let's just um, examine a few things you might want to surrender and or let go during this time span in question. Surrender stubbornness, all right? If you're kind of tensing up, ladies and gentlemen, or either taking a rigid stance about something, Gently observe yourself and become more yielding. And this will certainly help you communicate more lovingly with others as well as with yourself. Surrender comparisons with others, okay? Keep your eyes on the prize here. And keep your eyes trained on yourself. Try to focus more on your strengths, your attractiveness, stars, as well as your own personal power. Surrender to trust, all right? Trust yourself in your decisions here. And try not to be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident, Taurus, that you have, in fact, chosen the right path, okay? And last but not least, Taurus, surrender, which is very important, your attachment to results. All right, because the formula for success is to really do all you can, all you really can to make things happen and then let go of the results. Do the foot what? Do the footwork and then just let go, right? So holding on too tightly to a desired outcome could always, and usually it always, sabotage it, you know? And I feel that, you know, your love life certainly is going to transform when you learn to truly love yourself, ladies and gentlemen, just as you are. You are perfect just as the way that you are. Keep that in mind. Please accept this and you're going to be very amazed by the changes it brings into your life. All right. 
Now I'm going to read you a little postcard here from Spirit in closing, all right? Dearest you, we are a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity, be clear, and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step step is to admit out loud that you, in fact, have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer in your favor. Affirmative, we say. Loving you so very much. All right, Taurus, so this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Be sure to like and share. Send me along your comments. And if you'd like a more personal reading, please contact me at will.brown at wateconsultinginc.net. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.